Speaking of call, because you don't mind this phone. Your boy finally upgraded. <laughs> finally. Bro, I haven't had a new phone in four years. But yeah. So I feel like I deserved it. You went from an Android to an Android. And we're proud. Oh, yeah. Fuck iPhone. <laughs> iPhone said fuck you. Pieces. <laughs> Word. Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I, so this is why I love Twitter, dog. You always find out shit you did not know. Apparently, Steve Jobs was a piece of shit father and husband. Um, a, lot, a lot of those, like, Rich motherfuckers are pieces of shit. Yeah, <laughs> moguls and stuff like that. Like they didn't really have, they didn't really set time for family. It's for real, not the best family values. Yeah, I there mean, w- there's a price to that, man. Like, um, there's a story. I think his daughter was telling about how, um, he would do things where he would pay for something, did not pay for it, and the grimiest part, the grimiest one. Um, his wife, his wife found a house that was good for you know her and her daughter. Mm-hmm. And showed it to him, and this nigga bought it for him and his wife, him and his um other wife. Wow. Steve Jobs is on some bullshit, bro. Wow. He's a piece of shit father, dog. That's some wild shit. Yeah. I mean, and, didn't he name his first computer like Kimberly or some shit? I think his daughter. It was, what is like Jay? the only thing he did good as a father? I think he disowned her or some shit like that. So yeah, so like I'm 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 trying to um I'm trying to remember the movies they did a few years ago. Damn. I heard those movies are awful. <laughs> I didn't even well, bother watching. The one with, I think it's Stephen Fassbender or whatever, Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. He, he had an interesting one, the, the way they approached it. They will only do the scenes where he actually just was about to or had just gotten off a stage from one of his keynotes. Mm-hmm. So it was like all this shit was going on in his life behind stage right before or right after he had to come back from his keynotes. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. like his experiences with his daughter... Uh, like, like I think I saw a scene where he actually, um, like, he pushed her away. You know, he was like, no, you're not my daughter or whatever. And then mm-hmm. there was other scenes where, like, he accepted her. And then there were scenes where he was going through issues with his wife, his agent, the company was trying to get rid of him. They basically just did it all as this weird back of stage kind of way. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, so they didn't take it out into, like, the community or the Apple centers or anything. It was like... Literally trying to showcase how much he had to deal with and then go on stage and do these keynotes in 1998 or whatever. Got yeah. you. You know what I mean? I thought that was kind of weird and unique. Yeah. I, well, definitely weird. Um, It said, Mr. Jobs arrived days after the birth and helped name her, but refused to acknowledge that he was the father. What was to her support, name? Um, Lisa. Lisa. Um, yeah. To support a family, Miss Brennan cleaned houses and used government assistance. Only after the government sued Mr. Jobs did he agree to pay child support. So they had to come and sue this nigga for him to pay child support. He said, when her mother found a beautiful house and asked Mr. Jobs to buy it for her and Lisa, he agreed it was nice, but bought it for himself and moved in with his wife, Loren Powell Jobs. That's some grimy shit. That is some well, grimy. Hold and on, he said hold he would do on. shit to confuse and frighten her. He said, sometimes he decided not to pay for things at the very last minute. Walking out of restaurants without paying the bill. How That's a nice power shit. That's the <laughs> house that he decided to live in it, though. Wait, what, what do you mean? What kind of house was this? Oh, yeah, like, I guess. Like, oh, I want this mansion versus this mansion? <laughs> I mean, if your husband is Steve Jobs, you're going to go for the top shelf because you know he can pay for it. Word. Okay, and real quick. How do y'all feel about that? About what? Like, it don't take 50 grand a month to live, right? Mm-hmm. And I ain't saying you don't deserve the time you put in, mm-hmm. but like, where's that marker? Is it like the judge looks at your salary and says 10%? Or is right. it. I actually don't know. This how nigga that make works. a lot of money. Like, because you got niggas paying $100. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know niggas. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's right. what they're supposed to survive on. Well, all right. From what I heard growing up, it is based off your salary. Yeah. But also, sometimes it doesn't matter about your salary. It matters about like how bad you are and your background, and if you're this, that, you know, if you got record and stuff. Because I've seen niggas they get a hundred dollars, like a five hundred dollar check, and child support is four fifty. You know what I'm saying? So it has nothing to do with your salary. Sometimes, it, sometimes it comes from the judge. And mm. I'm not saying this. I've never been through it. I don't have kids. I never been able to baby mama. But it's just from other people's experience. They said, you know, oh, you got a bad background or. You never supported them, and now you know what I'm saying. It's kind of mm. like sometimes it's like a punishment, yeah. And the other times it's on some okay, you know, you were there, but you're not an active father. It's, it's weird. It's weird, but I don't know exactly. Man. I'm not really. That's um, some rare shit though, because some people could be paying so little. Like there's people who have money who pay little. Like 
couple grand and they have like yeah. well over six figures. And you sometimes know, but, you think it depends on the mom too. If she can support, well, I guess it depends on money. I don't think it has that much to do with them, right? Other okay. than what they request or something like that. Mm-hmm. Got you. I'm pretty I think sure the like judge kind of has a direct conversation. Like, you make three billion a year, you mm-hmm. gonna pay one million a month, mm-hmm. or whatever. <laughs> they That's crazy. But it's bro. like, that's crazy. You know what I wish? I would pay all the money in the world for my kid mm-hmm. if I knew I could track it. And make sure. Yeah, like if make I had sure. a horrible relationship, I never abused this woman, nothing. She mm. cheated on me, I divorced her, uh-huh. or whatever. And then they wanted me to ch- pay alimony or whatever that shit is. Uh-huh. And you have to take care of them because you gave them a lifestyle, which is fucking ridiculous. It mm. is. But at the same time, if um, you... Damn, I kind of forgot my point. But, you know, like, if, if you can... If, if, uh, you, if you, if you had a bad relationship, that's where I was going. Mm. If you had a bad relationship with the woman... And you just want to make sure your kid is taken care of, mm-hmm. and you're a millionaire, and they want her want to pay ten grand. Mm-hmm. I just want, I'll, okay, first the house, mm-hmm. cool, because yeah. your kid got to have a roof, of course. Mm-hmm. But can I direct my money to my kid? Word, word. I don't want yeah, to I've then start that. seeing her walk around with all kind of purses and nice cars and shit. For real, it's like eating crab legs every night. How fair is that to me? It's not. Word. That's a that's a that's a, a hustle. That's exactly what that is, and that's, word, how, that's and, how a lot of women having, do that too. Word, and having rich niggas babies is a hustle that some of these women have. Though. Like, bro, like young kings out there, careful who you lay with. Yes, please. Careful who you lay with, bro. because some of these women turn once I, the baby first comes of all, to get pregnant. First of all, as a king, most women ain't worth your seed. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Say a lot of for the people in the back. As a king, most women ain't worth your seed. You know what I'm saying? You got to be very selective. And you have to know your worth. Too. You got to know your worth, bro. Like, like I understand you You want to just fuck everything out here. Like, I don't suggest it. Do what you do, but, you know, like, flock with No, said. don't do what you do, because you, you fucking with other people's emotions and shit. Well, no, no, I, I agree with that. Mm. I agree with that, but some niggas' lifestyle, like, that's all they know, bro. Like, yeah. like if I'm not getting a pussy, why am I around? <laughs> I that's honestly, sad, that, like, nothing more, nothing less. That's, that's it's sad. very disheartening, very dis- disappointing. Bro, like, where, trust you, me, where yeah. your passions at, dog? What you, what you reading? What you, what you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, besides Twitter, <laughs> right? <laughs> and but, so, I'd even consider right? reading at Twitter. You just watching shit go, right? And that goes the same for you, for for queens too. Most of these niggas ain't worth you. You know what I mean? For real, be the selective. Of them. 